A 58-year-old man was admitted to our hospital with relapsing anemia that responded to three years oral administration of iron. The hemoglobin levels had ranged from 6.9 to 8.8 grams per deciliter. He underwent video capsule endoscopy one month earlier for obscure gastrointestinal bleeding in another hospital. Video capsule endoscopy showed multiple solitary venous dilations in the jejunum which were diagnosed as intestinal flebectasias. He was referred to our hospital for further examination and management. On examination, scrotal angiokeratoma and sublingual venous dilation was observed. The laboratory test detected mild anemia. Hemoglobin level was 10.3 grams per deciliter. Endoscopy also demonstrated multiple venous dilations with red color sign at the pharyngeal portion. Double balloon enteroscopy via the oral approach demonstrated multiple flebectasias from the proximal to the mid jejunum. Endoscopic ultrasonography by using 20 MHz miniature probe demonstrated approximately 5 mm flebectasias localized in the deep mucosal to shallow submucosal layers. We determined performing endoscopic injection sclerotherapy with polydocanol instead of surgical intervention because flebectasias are venous variscosities with a normal vascular wall and scant connective tissue stroma. Submucosal injection of 1% polydocanol solution into the periphery of the flebectasias was performed for prophylaxis of bleeding. Specifically, 0.3 to 0.5 milliliters of this solution was injected to form a bulge over each flebectasia-like paravariceal injection. In total, 22 milliliters of this solution was used for 29 flebectasias.
Five days later, edemas in the injected sites and one ulcer on an edema were observed. Two months later, double balloon endoscopy was performed for follow-up. Almost all the jejunal flebectasias had vanished completely, but a slight scar was observed in one lesion. 32 months later, he was re-hospitalized with occasional tarry stool and relapsing mild anemia. The hemoglobin level was 11.8 grams per deciliter. Enteroscopic injection sclerotherapy was performed for nine relapsing flebectasias.